Hello guys, S2W here as your average consumer with another casual consumer's review. For this video, I was able to pick this up at my local Puma outlet store. I stumbled upon a very interesting shoe and a very thought-provoking one as it looks strikingly similar to another cushioning that presently have risen to fame in regards to its revolutionary change in comfort that it provides today. Of course, that cushioning I'm referring to is Adidas' Boost technology, but let's take a look at what I have here today, which is the Puma Mega Energy Knit for a close-up review. For those who don't know, the founder of Puma and Adidas were actually real brothers. They worked together in early days, but eventually separated in their own paths and created their own sportswear company. Even to this day, we will hear Puma going into legal battles with Adidas, and lately, this has occurred on the topic of the cushioning material used on their sneakers. Correct me if I'm wrong with this, but apparently, Adidas sued Puma because Puma is selling a type of cushioning called Energy, which looks almost identical to Boost technology from Adidas. From the looks of the court details, it seems like Puma actually designed and planned out the technology in 2009 with Basset, a chemical specialist company. But around 2011, this same company terminated their contract with Puma and then joined up with Adidas later, releasing Boost cushioning to the market in 2013. Of course, Puma then had to find another chemical company to produce the cushioning that they were researching about earlier, launching energy cushioning for consumers two years after Boost cushioning was officially made. But does energy and this new model live up to the comfort that will rival its competitor? Let's take a closer look at these sneakers. To be frank, the look of this shoe has a very minimalistic vibe. There's nothing too fancy about it. It's a clean, simple looking shoe that's great for casual wear. For this colorway I have, it has a nice olive shade that will match the fall season here in Toronto, Canada. This model I have here is the Knit Iteration, where the upper is made out of knit material known for offering better breathability and lightweight comfort. By touch, the material is thicker than some of the other sock-like knit uppers where it's drastically thinner. This will give us some structural housing around our feet and generally great during those colder months. The knit upper on this model, however, does not have sock-like properties, so it's not really stretchable at all and again, have more of a sturdy feel to it compared to the thinner sock-like delicate knit materials on other shoes. Both the lateral and medial side of the shoe looks identical to each other, where on the first take, might actually look like a netted cage is on both sides of the sneaker. However, it's actually stitched and infused onto the upper, so there really is no caging system, but a stylistic approach of the design team transitioning the knit upper into a mesh-like side panel with a cost-efficient leather outline. This leather decoration is also where the olive laces are being threaded through, so when you tighten up the laces, the sides will constrict with it as well. Furthermore, to add creativity, they've added an extra piece of nylon strap running at the center of the upper for an extra place the laces can thread through. This strap runs up towards the high ankle tongue, which forms a tongue pull tab at the tip with the Puma text logo imprinted on it. At the back of the shoes, we have a glossy Puma text branding on a piece of stretchable belt. Puma has been making shoes with this kind of strap and logo imprintment on most of their new product lineups lately, which makes me think that they wanted to make this their iconic design. Also, there's a little back pull tab right above the strap helping us put on the shoes more easily when used properly. Next up, we have to talk about the energy midsole cushioning of this sneaker. By the looks of it, it does look identical to Boost cushioning. Puma also said that the cushioning provides maximum energy return and highly responsive comfort on every stride, which sounds pretty much the same as Boost material. Visual-wise, Energy Foam has the little bumps on the material just like Boost, and if you look closely, it even has the little dots or nipples sticking out just like Boost material. The only difference I can see here is that Energy has a glossier and smoother finish, but if you don't have Boost right next to you, you will think that visually, they are the same thing. By touch, I would say Energy seems to feel a bit more firm than Boost. Not by much though, so I am interested to see how they would feel on feet. Inside the shoe, we have a special type of non-removable insole that comes with the sneaker. They call this the soft foam insert, which is a type of cloud foam memory insole with enhanced plushness and comfort under our feet. Just by touching it, you can see how padded and deep my finger is pushing into the insole. The foam on the insole will slowly rise back up after pressure is applied, making it a very comfy sponge-like feeling that we're stepping into. Other than that, the inner walls around the ankle area have very minimal padding. There's some padding at the Achilles area, but other than that, the lining on the side has very thin padding which at the end of the day, I guess is better than having nothing here. Under the shoe, we have the standard full-length rubber also for durability and maximum grip on the floor. The overall pattern on the rubber seems pretty flat though, so I'm not entirely sure if it will provide that much of an exceptional traction. I would think that the most of the traction is coming from the rubber compound used on this outsole. But regardless, we will see the black Puma logo branding at the midfoot region of the outsole, and the Energy Text branding at the hindfoot area. Anyways, here are some Puma Mega Energy Knit Fit footage. Fit-wise, as a wide footer, I find these at my true to size the most comfortable. I felt like these were long and narrow. I can fit half size down if I wanted to, but it was too narrow for me. 
Sizing up half helped the width but was too long, so I stayed true to size with a little extra toe room up front. Narrow feet people may half size down for these, but true to size feels pretty safe I would say. Comfort wise, I'll separate it into two categories. The first will be the cushioning. Although it looks like the Adidas Boost midsole, it certainly did not feel like one. Energy had a stable padding under the feet without much bouncy feeling that we experienced on Boost. The visual is there, but the material properties is not the same. I know it's not right to compare the two to each other, but it's difficult as energy looks identical to Boost and my mind automatically think that energy should feel the same as well. And it didn't. Is it still comfortable though? Yes. Here comes the second category. The soft foam insole makes the shoe very, very comfortable. I will say the majority of the comfort is coming from this insert, soft and plush under our feet. Honestly, I will put this insole into every pair of shoes I have if I can. It just feels great for my personal preferences. It's a very nice addition that Puma has decided to add into this shoe. Although the midsole is not as plush as I thought, the overall comfort isn't bad at all. It's a decent shoe for those who want a beater and are on a budget, as price-wise, these were only $100 Canadian before tax, compared to something like the Stan Smith or Adidas Superstars with a very tough outsole around the same price range, these Puma Mega Energy Knit are definitely a lot more comfortable than those. Without the soft foam insole though, then maybe it'll come down to the physical appearance of the shoe, which everyone has different opinions on how things look, but at that low price point, these Puma are pretty great as a lifestyle shoe. As always, throw me some likes if you like this video, and let me know in the comments what you think about this whole situation between Puma's energy and Adidas' boost. As a consumer, it's crazy to see that there's another product that looks like boost not by Adidas, especially coming from another well-known brand. That's it for today, S2W signing off.